Radio Rana, and welcome back to FM Tahiti. I hope you're all well. Uh, it's been a little while for me, as, as is tradition, uh, since I've actually played this. Um, again, just the combination of, of work and having time to kind of sit down and record it, but I've been looking forward to this. Um, the transfer window is done. It's shut, so I'll just give you a brief recap of that before we move on to the other stuff, and also talk about the slightly new look. I've noticed here we've got a new skin on, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but transfer window-wise, it's got our transfer history. The only other change, I think, since the last video would be that we've got Nicholas O'Leary finally in. He lowered his demands. He's not actually that well rated. Um, we've got him. He's got some... He's got experience. And we also got Dupuis, Anthony Dupuis his name is, um, to leave. So we got him off the kind of wage budget. I don't think he's going to be playing that much for us. And when he was with us last season, 15 league appearances, four goals. It wasn't amazing. And that was against under 23 teams. So it's, it was time for him to move on, really. He's been around. So he's gone on to the Vahanga Vines. And that was kind of it. You can see a lot of players we managed to perch from the Humpbacks. That's about it, really. Um, in terms of what's happened since the last video, I can't remember where we got up to. In the, so it might be against the Corollas, actually. So I played the, la the next match against the Jupiters, which we won 5-2. We hit our stride in that one. Um, so what I'm going to do this episode is play the Exiles. I'll skip Rimitara and play AS uh, Chance. Uh, and against the Jupiters, we had... Uh, Minan scored two, Tamangara scored one, but he also had one disallowed. Uh, Mollis and Manuel also scored. They did get a player sent off, but not until right at the end. They actually scored after that anyway. So 5 2 was a nice, nice kind of showing against the Jupiters. So we're going to play the Exiles now. I'll just show you the skin. So the skin I've got, I've, I've changed things up slightly. It's not a massive um, change, but it's a good quality of life change, I think. So this is the Renzi. Dark skin. So if you go to the Renzi uh, blog, um, it'll be on the Steam Workshop as well, I think. Um, and you can download the skins. There's a light skin, a dark skin, there's a, a slightly older version as well, I think, on there. Um, it gives you lots more in the way of options for customizing things. I've got like expiry dates up here. Maybe I want the news instead. I've got the promises, probably keep the promises. Uh, available jobs, I'm not that. Mm, kind of interesting available jobs, just to see if an international comes up. But I can change this to the league table. Um, change this one to available jobs and things like that. So you can edit and move a lot around that you couldn't in the other one. I mean, I know you could do some of these in the other menu, but you, um, you've you got those options. And I think importantly, it's the windows you get during the match that will show you. This is where it really comes into its own. But it's also quite good for the fact that I've got all these kind of custom graphics that some of them I spent a lot of time on. Some of them I spent a little bit less time on. Um, but it actually makes them easier to see. So I think for the first few seasons, I've been kind of doing down the graphics. Cause there's a lot of effort that's gone into them, generally speaking. And you didn't always see them. But now if you go to things like the club screen, uh, you should get the club overview, which looks a lot better. Like It makes it clear what's coming up. See these look clearer. You get the starting eleven in here. You get to see your players a lot better. You get the league logo, the country logo, and everything like that. That's a lot nicer. Also reminds us we have no honours won. Um, our stadium condition is very poor. Okay, but it's it's a lot lot nicer. So if we go to the actual match, um, you'll see what I mean about some of the other stuff. So Chapentier has gone away on international duty. That's helpful. So we'll put on O'Leary. And we've still not got a full bench because of these injuries and internationals, but hopefully we'll get them back soon. Uh, Spearling's doing great, so we'll take him off, but otherwise we'll have to go with that, I think. Uh, Ruiz, let's bring on Ruiz for Kemp. So in the last couple of games, Kemp has been a little bit weak. Hopefully Ruiz could do something. One thing I also want to point out is this skin comes with an instant result button. So if you click that, it asks you what kind of match plan uh, you want to use, so it'll it basically it'll simulate the match for you, and it'll take a couple of seconds. And that's about 
uh, it really. I've not used it um, in this or any of my other saves. I'm not going to use it in this save because I like playing the games. Um, but it's not an advantage having it there because all it does is just simulate the game without you doing anything. Which means you have to have a match plan in. And you, unless you've got match plans for lots of very different scenarios, you're not actually going to effectively play the game. So I just thought I'll let you know it's there. It's not being used. So here we go. 442 against their 4231. We're the underdogs. It's good to be the underdogs for a bit so we can start hammering that as an option. So all of this looks pretty much the same as it as it ever did. But it's when it goes to the, this bit here. So you can see all of these little pause. You can see all of these different windows and you can resize them you can move them up and down like this if you wanted to to change what it is you can and and can't see and um there we go that's about right so what i've got here is i've gone for the body language and then the stats for one team and the body language and stats for the other team so i can see what reaction they're having what their performance is kind of being described as so I can hopefully see if someone's getting too angry and stuff like that, and then I can hopefully get rid of them. I've got the match stats, but I've made it longer and customised it to include a few extra bits here. I've got the general overview, so I know what's going on in terms of attendance, temperature. Not that I'm convinced temperature makes too much difference. Um, goal scorers and things like that so I've got there at a glance and what it also does is it'll tell me the attendance plus how many away fans have gone which is good for tracking now I've got latest scores and latest events but actually what I'll do is I think I'll change latest events to the league table so you can see what's going on there so that's all quite useful basically but there's lots you can change it to so you can see here you've got lots of options and then you just resize it as you need it and you really didn't have that kind of choice in the default one Bon to Minen, Kerr, just scoops it in against the Exiles. First ever goal, be lots of firsts coming up. Tamangawa, I think, got his first or second goal for the club in the last match. He was amazing in that match. Hopefully he'll do something similar in this one. One of the Ruru 2 alumni. So I kind of wish I'd just sorted his skin out really early on. Oh, that's Terrible. That the, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the keeper's fault. Did O'Leary really just let it go through his hands? Or so Pratt. Oh, okay, so he, he parried it into the head of Demont. Okay. Well done, Nicholas O'Leary. Fantastic debut. He's it's, it's not hurt his rating at all, but I know. I know what he did. Stroud to Mernier. Wallace, Tamangaro. Oh, just off the bar. I like Tamangaro. It's just, you know when you get one of those unreasonable kind of fixations on a player in FM where they can do no wrong? There's just something about them. I think it's... Corner. I think it's because he scored that goal to win us that first title, and he, also I think it's because of the way he looks in the match. So in the graphics of his, he's big and he looks big. Which fits in with that hoof ball I used to do. Still do a bit of it now. Yeah, I do wish I'd gone for that skin a lot earlier because this this is much more useful as well. I can keep track of a lot more things. I could put like the action zones on or where shots are coming from and things like that if that's particularly helpful. I've got choice. And I'm kind of surpri uh, surprised that the default for football manager isn't something like this. Oh Wallace. He got away and then he just... never mind. Wallace scored in the last game as well so we know he's he's good for a goal. You can do it. Currently we'll be about 8th. The results stayed as they are. I'm not sure who's likely to be challenging. I think maybe... I mean, Mutons currently are. Jupiters have quite often been sort of upper to mid. So they might have... Oh, money is going to get set off. That's not good.
stealing. Keep faith in Tamangara up there. Okay, so yeah, I would have thought Rapper, Feral Cats, maybe the Jupiters. Don't know who else really. We've been dominating it, but it might change now we've got that sending off. And down, still get a result. Maybe Heva Oa might be a one I would have predicted, but they're already fairly low in the table. Oh, that was... Oh, good, good. Bastion Pratt, what a name. Yeah, it's just drifted offside there, that's fine. I don't even know why I needed to check that. Wouldn't have mattered. Mapti as well, I would have assumed, would be challenging, because they have been in the Premiership before, so they've had... The opportunity to benefit from that. Don't care. Bon. There's some rumours that Bon would be leaving the club in the transfer window, but that was never going to let him go. He's quite a good right back. One of you. Basically, three players couldn't stop him then. I think I might mention this in the last video, but I do think central defence might be where we're weakest now. And also in net. Stroud. Can't click on the other guy. Ruiz. Neither of them stopped him. I think the season might be a bit tougher than I was anticipating. I was hoping we might get like a back-to-back -back promotion. We still could, but I'm not convinced by um, performances so far. Again, a bond this time. Generally poor. Anything I can do. Bring my Shabair. See what happens. And well, he got a goal as well. Shabair, what a sub. What a sub. And Wells apparently exhausted. Doesn't matter, he just needs to keep standing there and doing things like that. <laughs> no, we've got to bring on for him anyway. I did have like another quick look at the loan market, but honestly, unless I wanted like a 17 year old backup keeper from from our league, not even from the premiership, then there wasn't much in the way of options. It's gone spearling. Oh good one too. That was good. That was nice football. It's real Tottengeggy stuff. So Manuel heads it spearling. One twos. Cuts it back in for Chabert. Did the defence. So I would take three all right now. Three all would be acceptable. Attack by spearling, even though he's on the yellow card. Good run. Oh, I thought there was something in that. I thought Shabair was going to be the hero. He's already kind of a hero for getting that brace, but... We can definitely score goals, we just can't stop them going in. Conceded three at least in this match. Two in the match before. I don't think we've had a clean sheet for a while. See, again, three of them couldn't stop him. He just took all three out with that pass. I can't believe O'Leary's got 6.9. He's been terrible. Oh, thank God that was offside. Because that was also terrible keeping. Terrible defending across the board as well. But we'll take three all. Um, I skipped past it too fast. You can see there's about eight away fans or something like that. 
So there we go, we'll come back for the next match. I'll play the meeting trophy match off camera and come back for the next one, but we're four uh, we're eight with five points. Right, we're back. Uh but it's not a league match. Um didn't realise, but it's actually our second round Inter Island Cup match. So we're gonna play Ace Chance, who I imagine are gonna destroy us. So um I'm not holding back, I'm letting you see this if it happens. So Ace Chance currently <laughs> Bottom of the Premiership? Oh no, not bottom. Just 12th. It's a bit bigger league than I remember, but they are the reigning champions, even though they've not started as well as the other teams. Doesn't mean they can't destroy us. So that's a depressing past winners, isn't it? So we finished. And then who are he able to overtake them? And then his chance, so yeah, it's humpbacks have been on a bit of a low to go back to them one day and help them out. Uh, we drew our last match in the meeting trophy, one all. Um, against Union Remitara? Yes, yeah, against Union Remitara. But we didn't get any injuries, which is good. Let's bring on Chabert. Internationals are killing us. Uh, Only can come back in because he was suspended. Spearling, I guess. Everyone's a little bit tired. There we go. See how this goes. My scouts keep sending me reports. Four four two four four one one. Put off an upset. Yeah, I keep getting scout reports about oh this player's really good. And I look at the player and it's like yeah this player is really good. And then I look at whether they're interested. And it either says definitely not whatever the version of definitely not is. Or it says they might be interested, but their expected wage demands like three grand. So basically I think my scouts are stealing a wage. They still got Maxence Jordan up front. I don't really recognize any of the other names. Um, not in the starting 11 anyway, but Jordan I remember, because he can be a one man wrecking ball. Oh, I can't remember if I mentioned it when I saw him at the transfer window, but Semi Gerard, who was released on a free by the Humpbacks. It's a terrible ball there. Uh, yeah, Semi Gerard's gone to Moria. So he's gone to the Yellow Lizards. What was that? The keeper did nothing. Fortunately, he didn't actually need to do anything, but it's not a good sign, is it? Do I recognise many of them on the bench? I don't think I do. No. I think I recognise Romain Morel. That's about it. Maybe they sold off all their good players. Somehow managed to keep Jordan. Oh, offside, that's fine. Taku Warasan, I'm almost certain that they're a Gambia player. No, two Merton, but they're not teaching. That's the key thing, so they're not someone who's developed by their own youth intake. We, of course, still have no youth intake. It's a bit irritating, because I set up all the teams to have that so they produce but obviously it's cost cutting they've got rid of theirs we don't have enough money to get it back but we need one eventually otherwise we're really going to struggle to keep the team kind of fleshed out so I think the reason why we're able to do fairly well with the humpbacks was because at the start of the season when we had sort of Lots of senior players missing. We still had youth players we could call on. We might not have had a full bench and stuff like that, but we could always have a reasonable sort of team. Go on. Bon in. Promising. This is just the Inter Island Cup. In a lot of ways, I'd like to be knocked out. 
Oh, more or less. I mean, I'll still take a win if we have one. That's not bad. Did he make him? I don't think he did, did he? Okay, I'll go back to this idea of I, I, I'd quite like to be knocked out in a second. But So, good long ball. He did? Megs. Um, yes, yeah, so the reason why I was say I'd quite like to be knocked out is I don't think I'm going to win the Inter-Island Cup. The team's not there yet. It's definitely not there. Not got the depth. And I think playing those extra matches... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Terrible keeping. Yeah, playing those extra matches, I think, will uh, just tire us out. Like, we really don't need this match. It's not a helpful match to be having to play. Especially when we do ridiculous stuff like this. I don't know what to do, because we're meant to be pressing, we're meant to be tackling hard. So we should be stopping, not all the crosses, but a reasonable amount, but we're still conceding quite a few regardless. It could just be the players aren't that good. They're not doing it well enough. They're doing it, but just not well enough. Who can I bring on? Let's bring on Spearling. That's us done. And Ben Thomas on the left. So I think this would go to a replay. And I really don't want that. Interesting ball through. Jordan's away, big lad. Okay, I mean, we've not been embarrassed by them. We've embarrassed ourselves with our defending, but we've not been embarrassed by them. We've not let them play too much. To be honest, if they play like this in the Premiership, I imagine they might get relegated. Which they did, we'd make them the first former champion to get relegated. So many conflicting feelings. I mean, it's gutting to lose it like that. But I'll not lose any sleep over it. If it means we can concentrate on the league. That's why I'm not particularly bothered about the Mutiny Trophy. I don't think we've got a chance of beating the Humpbacks if we got to the final. Yeah, they've edged it. And then some. So there we go. Ooh. There we go. So thanks very much for watching. Um, a draw and a loss. Exciting times at the Tertengegi Wings. Uh, but we've got a few extra matches coming up. So I will probably play these two off camera and then come back for the Feral Cats and the Typhoons. And then I'll do the same and then come back for this. I'll try and march on with the season, essentially. But thanks, as always, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.